Good morning, fellow Plexers. Today I wanted to cover a topic I've covered before in a better way, in a more comprehensive way. And that's how to claim your first Plex server if it doesn't open properly, or how to claim a server that somehow became unclaimed. Or possibly even if you've moved Plex to new hardware, and the new hardware has a new local IP address, you may have to claim it again um, that way. So what I've done is I've written up a little guide that I will post in the description. Basically, if you're on the system that the Plex server is running, and it's a new Plex server, when you go to open it by following the prompts, Plex is going to use one of these local host addresses to bring the server up the first time for you to go through the normal claiming process and add your first library. You can also claim a server if you're having trouble the first time with a direct IP address and you'd replace server.localIP with the actual local IP address of your hardware. If your server becomes unclaimed, there's an extra step. You have to go into the settings of the web app at app.plex.tv and go to the authorized devices to change to the server option and remove the name of your old server. Don't worry, you can add it back. It will have the same name. But you have to remember that if you're on a NAS, for Plex install, like Unraid or Synology or QNAP NAS, you'll be claiming it from another local device, so you'll only be able to claim it this way. I think on a Synology NAS, when you click Open in Package Manager, it's another local host option, because even though you're remote to the NAS, the NAS is local to the Plex server. It gets kind of complicated, but I'm, I'm going to post this all in the description and just kind of demo it with a Docker container running under this Ubuntu boot that I'm in on my desktop PC and this would be the direct IP address for that system and then I have a test Unraid system running in the basement too and this is the direct IP address for that system. So with both of these options I'll try both local host URLs and the direct IP address URL and I'll have the support article listed in the description too. All of this will be in the description. So I'm not really too well prepped with this. I don't know where I left the web app but it starts with the web app. If a server is unclaimed or you're not local, you can't see all your servers from a direct IP address unless you're at the web app. So I've got multiple test servers running. This is my only real Plex server. I have a system running on a little Unraid um, bench system, this test container install, a container on my older Synology NAS. Well, actually, it looks like the package system is running. I have I have two test servers on each of my Synology NASes. Um, this is a container on the newer NAS, and this is another bench system in my basement running Plex under Windows. They all use the same public domain test media. So what I'm going to do is start out with authorized devices and I'll switch this to server and I'm going to remove the Ubuntu container server from association with this um, web app. Click the X, say remove. And you can see it's shut down, but on this same desktop I have a snap package install of Plex installed, but it's not running at the moment. So now I have to find the 
unraid test one, which would be right here, unraid 63-2. So now that's removed. Now both of these servers are still running, but the web app can't see them because I removed them from association with my account. So let's let's claim the one that's that's running on this desktop system with a local host address. We'll use this first. Let me bring up Chrome. Oh, Chrome's over here. Sorry. So just in a new URL, and again, this only works if you're on a web browser on the system Plex is running on. So I have to select my user, pin myself in, and now I have to go to settings. And if I look, this now says nearby. And see, it's the same server name. And down here under general, you see the yellow triangle. And I simply claim the server. Plex is doing its thing. It's doing its thing slowly, but it's doing its thing. Well, let me do a little prepping while this is working. Well, it just finished. I'm going to copy this other local host option. All right, so now we're all set. There's no more yellow triangle. So I'm going to go back and remove it once more. You have a text message. Change to server. And here it is, the walker-ubuntu-container. We'll remove it. So if we go back, well, let's refresh. Uh, it's trying to claim again because I've got that open. Let's go to app.plex.tv. The same URL was just trying to claim it again. All right, so you see from this perspective, that server's gone. So now we'll use the second local host option. And again, it just brings me into my web app. Um, I'll have to go to the settings and let's see what we see. This time it says Walker Ubuntu container nearby. And I still have the option to claim the server it's just a slightly different process. I didn't pin into my account this way. My browser just remembered it was me. All right, while this is, oh, there it is. All set, we're claimed again. So I can remove it, but again, I'm not going to remove it because I'm, if I do, it just tries to start this process all over again with this URL. So I'm going to go to the web app again to remove that server a third time, and this time we'll claim it with a direct IP address. Let's go to my document and the direct IP address for this one is right here. Now I'll leave these in the description of the video, but of course this will not be meaningful. Either of these will not be meaningful to anything on your system. So I'll go to the settings again. 
Now just like the first localhost option, the server is nearby and it's marked with a, actually a red triangle instead of the yellow triangle and it says unavailable. So if I click it, I've got nothing. So let me back up here for a second. Well, let me just paste this again. All right, so it says nearby. So I can go to general and claim the server. So next we're going to claim the remote server. Well, it's not really remote. It's not local to this computer, which means to get this back, I have to use the direct IP address. Okay, so let's refresh this. Oh, sorry. This is just remembering, this direct IP address is remembering that I also had the snap package of Plex installed on this same PC. So this or a red triangle means a missing server and it has nothing to do with this container that's actually running on the same hardware. I could shut this container down and restart this server and then this would have the red triangle for a couple of days until Plex just decided it's not going to turn back on it and it won't show it. So this is kind of confusing, but it's because I have two different installs of Plex on the same hardware. All right, so let's claim that test unraid server, which is going to be just like the process we did using the direct IP address for our other Ubuntu one. So unraid is nearby. If I click on it, Server is unclaimed and not secure, and I'll simply claim the server. Okay, the server is claimed. If I look at all of them, again, the snap package is nothing that I've used um, in this video. But before I started the video, this was what was running, and I shut it down to start the container install on this Ubuntu system instead. Okay, so that's message. about it. I'm going to go attend to the text messages I've been getting during this video, and this will all be in the description. So again, if, if you've lost a server and it's become unclaimed, the first thing you have to do if you want to reclaim it is to go to Authorized Devices, Change to Server, and Remove it. This does not remove any configuration data. All your metadata, all your custom metadata will come back. Even the server name will come back. You don't have to remember the name of the server. So this, this can be helpful too if you're moving a server because your local IP address is going to change. This is how you'd reclaim a moved server also. So I hope in the future if I share this video, the steps are a little bit clearer depending on which of the couple of situations you're actually in. As always, happy plexing and thanks for watching.